Oh, can have updates, hello. I'm saying we had to go somewhere today. That's just the last days today. Had to, you know, like that was it. You finished anything? I thought, okay. It's been a year since been going to. I've been going to space for about a year now. A year. It's been a year. February time, right? And that was it. I kind of went. Oh my god, it's the last day today. To, oh, anyway, so I won't go. I just. So I, what I do is do a bit of shopping after. No, I actually did it before I went there. Actually, so a bit of shopping, then I went there. And it was the last day. I thought, gee, that's gone quite fast. The whole year or so. Um. So lots of stuff from HMV. Two 4Ks and a Blu-ray. I've actually got something else to come through the post so but um, that's going to be pretty cool, actually. Uh, so the first one, first one I'm going to start that what I got from HMV is released by... I don't know. Kaleidoscope. Khalid Kaleidoscope. On Blu-ray film. It's actually a documentary about a guy. And it's about a special collector's edition of Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robert England story. The legendary Robert England, of course. Um, I like these type of documentaries. You watch a thing called Cursed Movies. That's really interesting to watch. From the, the makers of Pennywise, the story of it comes... I've not seen that yet. I've got to buy that. Comes an all-new special edition Blu-ray celebrating the legacy and career of one of the generation's most beloved horror icons, the legend legendary... Robert England. See, shooting to Susan Sardin with his revolutionary portrayal of Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. A moment without that as visceral into the horror genres as Conti's werewolf of Karloff's groundbreaking realisation of Frankenstein's monster. England has firmly earned his place in the pantheon of horror movie legends. I agree with that 100% of course. Featuring exclusive into uh, England himself, plus Lynn Taylor, Ellie Roth, Tony Todd, and many of the star's co-workers from projects included Urban Legends, 2001 Maniacs, 976 Evil, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, Wishmaster V. Remember V? Remember V used to scare me. V used to scare me. I'm honest to God. I remember I used to watch it, man. There's a part in the, the series where the guy used to Pull his face off, and it scared the crap out when I was a kid. I used to go, oh, you know, it's a car. I look, I, I watched it years and years ago after that, and I thought, okay, I don't know. This is a big deal. I don't know why that's. It looked worse than when I used to watch. When you when you're young, it looks worse. The guy pulling his face off, and it's got like it's, it's freaky shit. It scared the shit out of me. That dude. Even that name V, you know, he just he just used to scare the shit out of me. He used to just chilling though. He's just chilling. Dead and Buried, Phantom of the Opera, and of course, the Nightmare on Elm Street from the movies. This unique and captivated portrait of captures the story, a full story of the man behind the glove, exploring not only his iconic role, but the deaths of England's true powers. True powers, a character act in the years since Freddy's cinematic birth. I can't even hell read that. So it comes to special features. Uh, collector's edition, reversible sleeve, a peek behind the curtain, uh, what's that say, dance, like a, um, Robert England, horror icons, um, so yeah, so it comes with a special feature, it's all, it's not dark man, I don't know what's wrong, Sometimes it's like red and black, dark, dark freaking, it's like darkish red. Not dark red, but you know what I mean. Uh, so I'm doing the 29 minutes. Don't you hate it, but then when we used to be at school, we used to have like these white boards. White boards, and the teachers used to write on them. It's not just school, I think it was like my college, I think it was. Anyway, they used to write, is it college or was it school? And they used to write, write on the white board, these white, these yellow bright, you know, I'm not just sitting from distance, right? Yellow, bright, bright yellow, <laughs> bright yellow on white board. It, you can't. It's like ridiculous. It's like what the hell? That's bad. That's not as bad. But still, I remember sitting there. Go, I I remember still call. I call, I, I can't read from here. Uh, but I remember Jesus Christ, white white board, and um, you know felt tip pen, white yellow. Bro oh Jesus Christ! I tell you what, terrible. That's terrible. Um. That used to be terrible. I remember used to go. I mean, my eyesight wasn't perfect then, but Jesus Christ. So yeah. So it's, uh, so anyway, that, so it's um. 
So it's called Hollywood Dreams, Nightmares, Robert England's story. Really enjoyed that. I like to see, I like to buy it because I like Robert England. I like Nightmare on Elm Street. Classic movie. And then I got um, Saw X. Saw Tentacles. I like this movie. I have not seen this one yet. I've got like Sparrow on the other one. Uh, Jigsaw. Um, Tom Kramer. Tony Tony Belt was back. The fourth franchise most chilling installment yet explored the total chapters of Jigsaw's most pot personal game. Set between the events of Saw sort of One and Two, this story finds a stick and desperate John traveling to Morocco, Mexico for a risky and experimental medical medical procedure in hopes of obtaining a miracle. Miracle Core for his cancer, Holmes discovered that the entire operation is a scam to defraud the most vulnerable. On with newfound purpose, John returns to his work, turning the tables on the con artist in this signature vi visual way the uh, terrifying traps. The series of ingenious terrifying I don't I like this film, it's so fun to watch. So the copy on a copy through director editor Kevin uh, cinema crowd, blah blah, production designer Rob Anthony Stanley, re reawaken the making of documentary, drawing inspiration, illustration scene, big breakdowns, and director editor Kevin Goot, is it Goot Grutert, makeup department, trap test, delete scenes, theatre trailer. I've not I've not seen this, but. I think um, 180 minutes. I love these movies. I've I've enjoyed every movie from the first one to the um, from Sparrow. I really enjoyed. And Jigsaw was good. I really enjoyed that good um, return, you know. So yeah, Sparrow was really good. I like that one. Seeing Chris Rock in a horror film is quite. He did do a film with uh, Morgan Freeman where he plays this kind of nutcase. Um, he does it really well actually. It was. I think it was good in Sparrow though. I really enjoyed that. I bet mean, he actually wants to return, which would be cool. Bring them all together, everyone. Everyone, it's funny to put every character from the sort of, you know, ones that have survived into that, this kind of like crazy ass finale. Yeah, no, oh, it'd be so fun. So it's called, it's released by Lion Gate, and I do not genuinely like this film, films. Uh, Saw X, Saw 10 on 4K, I like the image by the way, that kind of, the art, oh, it's pretty freaky, freaky. What the, yeah, awesome. And finally, um, I saw this and I thought, yeah, I want to buy this because I like the um, Equalizer movies. I got the first two on 4K. I got this, and I got Equalizer 3 on 4K. Um, Denzel Washington returns as the Equalizer, of course. Um, since giving up life as a government assassin, Robert McCall, Denzel Washington has struggled to reconcile the horrific things he's done in the past and finds a straight. Strange plus and servant justice on behalf of the oppressed. Finding himself surprisingly at home in southern Italy, he discovers his new friends are under the control of a local crime boss. As oh hell, here we go again. As events turn Della, McCall lose McCall knows what he has to do to become his he has to do. Become his friend and protect her by taking on the Mafia. Become his friends, protect her. Um, so it comes with special features. Uh, Blood Brothers, the collaboration of Denzel Washington and Antonio from Call to Action. Robert McCall, a man of the people. Man of the people, Denzel and Dakota reunion. Postcards from the... Alfred Coase, Jacob Banks, Monster Lyric. So, anyway, so it's released by Elevation. Now, I noticed something about this film. I watched, I watched, watched this thing on YouTube, and actually, the girl from Man on Fire on this young girl, girl, she's actually in this. I was like, oh my god, and she's great. She's good in that film. I mean, Man on Fire is such a good movie, and there's a watch into the total ballast and that. It kind of has an equalizer list about this, but in that film, too. Trying to protect this young girl, so like, it's kind of similar, you know. It's, it's a good film. Though. Man of Five is a good movie, and I do like these films. It's actually good action movies. That's what was good. Tony Equalizer Two was really good, and I, I definitely enjoyed that. So it's called Equalizer Three on 4K. I'm not sure if he's doing it anymore. He probably will eventually. 
Depends how this film goes, you know, if he survives. I have no idea. So yeah, equalizer on three on 4K. So that should be pretty time. So we've got Hollywood Dreams and Nightmares, the Robert England store on Blu-ray. Equalizer 3 on 4K and of course Saw X on 4K. Like I said, I've got to watch these films again because I do I do like these films, you know, sinister. It's like each film I've enjoyed, even the ones that people kind of, you know, the bit flaw, they're enjoyable. That's the thing because you, you, you think, are, they, are, these, are these people going to survive? You know, it's always, I find it fun to watch actually. I really do enjoy them. Um, so yeah, looks like an interesting one because you think yourself, is Jigsaw this guy? Kramer, bad guy in this because even he's guy, he doesn't really kill him. He, he does and he does and he doesn't really kill him. Why he just like puts him in these traps and this guy like, and he like punishes people. It's, like, it's kind of like the punisher in a way. They do bad things and he just punish him, but he does it even more sin sinister way, and um, without actually killing anyone, literally with his hands. But crazy. It's, it's an interesting character, Jigsaw. It's an interesting one. Uh, so yeah. And anyway, I say before I go off, I'm Scratch with Richard Beach Palm. I'm a gaming channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Have a nice week. Take care. Look at yourself and thank you for watching. And um, have a nice week.